Blue skies all the way We laugh, we joke, we sing What a beautiful day Not a cloud in our sight Hey, what's up? I'm Inizalea from ToleratedCinematics.com and today I will be showing you how I created the ramp effect that you saw in my video from Spain. Really cool effect, really easy to create. Let's jump in Adobe Premiere Pro and see how it's done. Alright, here we are in Adobe Premiere Pro and today I will be talking about how to apply the time ramp effect to your edits. You can do some really cool and you can achieve some really cool effects using this technique. You have multiple ways of applying this, but I will show you my technique and the other options that you have. It's really cool to do, especially on the beat of your music and you can really get your video to the next level, get a really nice vibe to it. So let's see how I did it. And if you want to see an example in the description, there is a video where I have used that technique uh, multiple times so you can see how it actually feels in the complete edit. Okay, so right here I have some footage files that you can download with the link in the description so you can follow along with the same footage. I have them filmed at 25 FPS. So what I will do is drag 01 here in a new timeline. I have a video file. I will delete the audio just like this. And there we have it. We have slow motion video footage of waves coming to these rocks and they crash into it really, really nice. So what we want to do essentially is to give it that vibe of everything going extremely fast and then slow it down super smooth. You can do this with a slow motion, well, a high speed uh, camera. I have a video about slow motion. If you want to get into that, I will put a card on this video, but that's not what this video is about. So I will be showing you how I apply this effect. So what I will do is actually search a time that I want to slow it down at. So right here, they crash into these rocks really really nice I will just stop it right here so what I'll do is press C on the keyboard to select my razor uh, tool and I will click right here on my timeline just so it starts right over here then I have this entire clip right here I'll right click to it speed duration and change this to like 5000 and what I like to do is not go over 5000 but really speed it up a lot so you have a very very short video file like so so let's preview this and there we have it, super slow motion, let it play for a little bit, then press C again, click here for the razor tool, move a little bit further away, and maybe right here we want to slow it down again, so click on the razor tool right here, and then press V on the keyboard for the selection tool, right click on this video file, and go to speed and duration again, and maybe this time change it to like 3000, and there we have it, very short, let's trim it down, what I'm doing actually if I have this space is click in between and just click on the backspace, uh, just so you know. So this is basically how I do it. So let's apply another video effect here and let's use a different technique to achieve the same kind of effect. So right here, I have someone on a bike and he's driving around. My camera is uh, kind of on a uh, nice dolly here. Well, it's not on a dolly, it's on a gimbal, um, but we have some really smooth footage, really nice. So what I wanna do is I want him to pass by very quickly. So we start right here, then we slow it down again, and then right here we speed it up again so we have him in the distance. So what we can do is right click, go to show key, uh, clip keyframes, and go to time remapping and click on speed. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger and I'm also going to zoom in a little bit so I have something like this. Go to the beginning uh, of where you want it to be slow. So right here I want to start to slow it down and click on this diamond right here to add a keyframe. And then what you can do is move to the position where you want to speed it up again. So right here I want to speed it up again. Click on the diamond again. Move a little bit farther away right here. And right here I want to slow it down again. So what you want to do now is click on this line here so you see an entire line right here click on this line and just drag it up until you can't anymore so right here it stops at 800 you can go up to 1000 so that's why i'm actually using this cut because i can it extend above 1000 so i can go 5000 10000 right here if you're using this technique you can only only go up to 1000 percent so now we have something like this and then right here we also drag this part up like so and there we go. 
really cool. Okay, so the reason why you would use this technique is that you can actually smooth out your animation. So right here, we have an abrupt stop of a very fast motion and it stops to slow motion. What you can do is to actually, if you drag on these things here, you can do the same thing for this one as well and this one. You can actually see that you're start to you start getting a ramp here, so it's actually going to gradually slow down. And also, if you click on this line here, so if you click on this keyframe, you see this anchor point, and you can also drag these to the left here, and now it's going to smooth it out. So right here, let's drag it to the left, and also drag it a little bit longer. Maybe this is a little bit too much, but what you will see is that it really smooths it out like so. And let's preview. So this is going to be a lot smoother. It depends on the technique that you're trying to achieve. I like this technique because it actually really shows how to get this kind of kick on each um, beat. Like right here, it's very smooth. You can do whatever you want. Let's uh, use another last technique right here. We have our third. And what I want to do now is actually uh, see it like this. And actually, I like uh, to use the same technique as this one for this one. But what we can do as well is, for example, we have this shot here. We can actually press C on the keyboard, click here to click and create a cut, and then move like forward a few uh, frames and just click right here and just delete this part and just trim trim it down. And now if we're going to do this on the beat, it's actually going to give a jump in the video, but it's also going to show like it's actually speeding up because it's going so fast it actually becomes a cut. So if you do this a few times, you can get some really cool effects. So there we go. And if you imagine this on some really nice music, you can really get a nice vibe using this technique. So these are three techniques to actually play with time ramping. It's a creative way of making your video. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, give this video a like. Also, definitely check out our website. We have a bunch to offer to filmmakers. We have a bunch of presets, templates for Premiere, After Effects and so on filmmaking packages, really cool stuff, definitely check out our website, a link will be put in the description, and then I'll see you in the next one, goodbye.